so we're going to get started with the panel discussion. How about we have everyone introduce themselves, and then we'll start with the discussion. How you doing, Lester Green? Antoine Pogrel. I'm Victor Yates. And Stanley Bidney Clay. I remember Russ Thornhill, and I'm a co pastor here at Unity Culture Church. I'm Eli, I'm from Minority Ace Project. All right, um, so the, I think everyone here could say that this project is powerful and greatly needed to be seen by larger audiences. I think what really works with this piece is the, the scripted narrative that runs throughout the movie and is very central. It, it talks about the particularities and the commonalities that are experienced in the black uh, gay community and I think the wider community um, to include lesbians, bisexuals, and transgender people. And one of the, uh, the great moments of the film is when the mental health professional says that the voice is a part of the body. And it's interesting from basically studies that I've seen that a lot of people of color, especially African Americans, don't seek help when, when they experience symptoms of depression. And I kind of want to ask the question to Antoine or um, Stanley or Antoine or Lester about what are the signs of depression? What are some things that we should be looking for as a community to help people with them. Recognizing when someone is experiencing depression. A lot of it came out in the, um, in the documentary. Um, Mrs. Stone, for example, talked about how her son behaved, how his behavior changed, how the last three weeks before he killed himself, how he was behaving what he was saying, what he was doing, um, started to withdraw from people, stop doing things that you, you used to like doing. Um, and, and, and you find that the commonalities of the things or the symptoms or the signs of depression are laid out by the, by the American Psychiatric Association the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual 4th um, edition that there are nine different factors and any two of those factors occurring for more than six months to a year that are, that are significantly disrupting your life, then it means that you are dealing with depression and you need to seek medical, um, you need to seek help right away. Okay, so for example, we have, if you're experiencing unusual changes in your behavior, loss of sexual desire, or, sexual, or you develop sexual addiction, you feel a sense of hopelessness, you have difficulty concentrating in regular everyday tasks, you gain or lost weight by more than 30 pounds in a short period of time, you lost interest in things that you used to do or used to like, you feel listless, drain of energy as if you don't want to continue. And for many people it's like, I don't feel like getting out of bed. I don't want to do this. I don't feel like it anymore. Isolating yourself and have thoughts of suicide and start planning your suicide. And as we heard Taylor said and, 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 and um, DJ Bacon, others have, have described carefully planning how they and what they would do frequent bouts of anxiety and, and feeling scared or, or feeling hunted or feeling paranoid, um, easily agitated, frequent and unexplained panic attacks, difficulty or trouble sleeping, you're often irritable, 